graph polynomial functions we have a function f of x equals to 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus x minus 2 and we'll see how to graph this particular cubic polynomial now in this example we'll learn techniques to first factor a polynomial and then graph it now to factor a polynomial as given to us what should we do we will try some numbers and check the value of the function for those numbers to be zero right so that we get x intercepts right so what are those numbers the constant minus 2 all the factors of minus 2 are possible numbers which could be roots of this equation or which could lead to x intercepts and uh, what are those numbers well the possible factors could be so the possible uh, factors could be factors of minus 2 which are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 so let's try these values so what is f of let's say plus 2 f of plus 2 will be we'll substitute 2 here and then find the value 2 cube so 2 cube is 8 let me straight away write 8 and then when I write 2 here 2 square is 4 minus 2 and minus 2 and that gives us a value of 32 8 times 4 is 32 right again 32 with a plus sign and uh, minus 2 minus 2 64 minus 4 is 60 so f of 2 is 60 how about f of minus 2 so if I put minus 2 here I get 4 2 cube minus is negative 8 plus uh, 2 minus is 8 plus and this will make it plus 2 minus 2 so that gives us minus 32 plus 32 plus 2 minus 2 which is indeed 0 so with this we got first is 0 once we get a 0 we can actually divide it by the factor right the factor at x equals to minus 2 we have a 0 right so let's perform long division the whole idea of this example is to review this process of division and then write down our factors and then sketch right so it is 4x cube here plus 8x square minus x minus 2 we should divide by x plus 2 since minus 2 gives us a 0 right so we'll take the first two 4x cubed so we should multiply this by 4x squared so 4x squared times x will give us 4x cubed with plus 2 it will give us 8x squared when we take away we get 0 0 okay so then we should bring down both the terms right so we have minus x minus 2 now that will go minus 1 times right so minus 1 will give us minus x minus 2 0 so that is how we can write our function so now we can write f of x as equal to x plus 2 times 4x square minus 1 correct now 4x square minus 1 is a perfect square which we can write as x plus 2 times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 so finally we get our function in factored form so that is one half of the question writing the function in factored form right so we have our function now which is f of x equals to x plus 2 times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 now when you get this in factored form we can easily write down all the x intercepts along with multiplicity of zeros so we have x intercepts at x equals to this is minus 2 this is minus half and this is at half right so if you plug in half here you get zero so these are your three zeros and they are all linear correct another important thing which you need from your function is y intercept y intercept is value of the function at x equals to 0 right so that means you're trying to find what is f of 0 equals to 
If I put f of 0 in your standard equation, I get minus 2. Right? You could substitute in this equation also, 0, 0, 0. So you get 2 times 1 times minus 1, which is minus 2. So either way. So we got our x intercept and we have the y intercept. And now we are in a position to sketch the graph. So our zeros are at minus 2, minus half, and half. And y intercept is at minus 2. Now to sketch the graph, we should actually look into end behavior, right? That's kind of a very critical parameter. So let's look into end behavior. End behavior is decided by two factors, and that is the leading term, 4x cubed. So what we see here is that the function is odd, right? Degree 3 means odd function, right? And second important thing which you see is positive leading coefficient. Okay, so these are two important things which we notice. That means how is the end behavior? Hmm. So end behavior for this function should be, when we say positive leading coefficient, that means right side is up. Is it okay? Right side up for positive. Odd means opposite ends. Do you see that? So odd means opposite. That is the end behavior. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can identify where the x-intercepts are. x-intercepts minus half plus half. Let us say this is our half. So this is minus half and this is plus half and that is 1 and so we'll assume minus 2 be somewhere here, minus 2. Okay, so we get our zeros. All of them are linear. This is minus 2 for us. This is minus half. And this one is plus half. So that is x and this is f of x. Okay, and the y-intercept is negative 2. So somewhere here. Okay, now let's try to sketch the graph. To sketch the graph, what we will do is we have to actually move from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1. That is how we have to move. Since odd degree, opposite ends, positive leading ends up in quadrant 1. So remember, when you move, you have to go straight from the zeros because they are all linear zeros. So multiplicity is 1, right? Their multiplicity is 1. So you should not be turning. You have to just cross them, right? And that is how the graph should be. So let's continue the graph and then sketch it. So it go with a smooth curve, kind of like this. Do you see that? So that becomes the graph for the function. And remember, I did not really mark this point. Now I'm saying this as minus 2. Because if I mark it first, then I may lose the smoothness of the curve. So I prefer to just make a scale on x-axis, draw the smooth graph wherever it crosses y-axis, correct? Wherever it crosses y-axis, write down your y-intercept. That way you'll always get a smooth curve and fairly accurate, correct? <laughs> that is how it should be. I hope with this you understand exactly how you can sketch a polynomial function when given in standard form. It is kind of easy when you already have it in factored form, right? So first step is factoring. Adopt all the skills you have learned. Factor the function. Once you have factored, identify the intercepts, both x and y intercepts. From the function, identify end behavior, which depends really on whether the degree is odd or even, or and leading coefficient is positive or negative. Then, once you know your x-intercepts, also identify multiplicity of each zero. In this case, we had linear, so the graph crosses like a straight line. And then connect with a smooth curve, no sharp corners. Remember that. So that is how you should be graphing polynomials. I hope that helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about this topic. Thank you and all the best.